All right, let's draw Jolteon, but today we're going to draw Jolteon in a super cool way. Do you remember when we drew Celebi and we drew it on a special paper that made the colors super fantastic? Let's draw Jolteon, but we're going to put in a similar background like that. All right, let's get started. Today we're not going to draw, well, we'll draw a little bit of a very light outline. I don't think we're going to stay in the lines at all. But let's just see what happens. Let's put, let's do what we normally, ooh, almost started tracing on my good card. Let's get an old code card that I don't mind if I accidentally write on it. All right. Let's get started. Very light pencil. They might totally ignore these lines. All right, let's draw Jolteon. Jolteon, let's make him a little bit bigger. Um, and we're going to sketch him with pencil. And you know that Jolteon evolves from Eevee, and everybody loves Eevee. So let's draw Jolteon, because almost everybody else loves Jolteon. All right, let's start with this first ear in the front. And we're going to make it about that big. Something like that. And then we're going to get this front that comes about like this. And then his, he's got, his head comes about like this shape, right? A little bit of a curvy. And then the nose starts to point out like that. Hopefully we got that right. It's already, it kind of looks like a pig. Let's see what happens if we keep going. And a little bit of the nose comes around. And Jolteon's mouth open and downish. That's really it. All the rest is just like these bits like this. And this other ear is kind of sharp like this. Comes like this. A little bit like that. All right, let's get that eye in to make sure that it totally looks like Jolteon. So it's big eye shape. Big oval like that. And then the bottom has a similar oval, like this. And then that part's going to stay white. And there might be a little dot. I think that's okay. I think that's okay for Jolteon. We'll stick with that. We'll stick with that for now. All right. So that's his head. And then we've got these, the yellow part of his mane. It sticks out in these rough sharp diagonals. I'm going to sketch the inside of his ear, which will be dark. Uh, and then let's go, let's switch over and see if we can get the whites. Whites will be about like this. A couple pointing towards us. About like, about like that. And let's get, so this paw comes out like right underneath his jaw. So let's make that paw come out like this, and it's pointing up, about like this. It's a little foot shape, about like that. And he's got little, these little paw marks, like rounded like that. Okay, there's one. And then this one, the end of that is about even here. So that's called uh, you make a landmark. There's a landmark, and then you come to about here. Same with here. There's the end of his nose. It's almost straight down as the end of the paw. So that paw comes there. And that paw is about like that. That one like that. Kind of look, there's got a little bit of color in front of that. Yeah, it just goes straight back like a foot. About like this. And then the other part is about at that toe. Hey, that turned out pretty good. Not bad. We might have to fix the angle of those toes. There we go. That's better. Let me get that. There we go. See, you're an artist. You can look and sketch. All right, let's get the body. It goes way back like that. So let's get there's this underside of his body and then his feet. Again, we're a little bit, we have this yellow in front of, so it swoops, and then his back, back feet are like that. 
and it just kind of end. All right, so there's his body, and then his legs kind of have like the knees, and then like that. And then other part of his leg is about like that. And we'll just make pause, pause like that for that one. And then this. We'll have to do about like that. Okay. And then the back part of his body, the, the yellowish. Let's do a little more of these sharp lines. There's one that comes up a little more. Comes up a little more about there. And then comes back about like that. And I'm going to erase this line right here. I think we did a pretty good job. Those back legs, let's see if we can do anything to improve those. I'm looking at the card really carefully. I'm going to let you look at the card. They really just end right there. Kind of like ours. I'll leave it like that. I'm going to erase this a little bit. I can be happy with that. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, now I'm going to get my favorite pen. This time, I'm going to use the Tombow, and this one is the hard tip, and we'll see how that works for us today. All right, Jolteon, let's get you going. So, oh, and you see that I didn't put these little sharpie parts here in the ear. We can add those in a minute. Something like this. I'm just going to start going over, and if I want to add some like, like that, I'm going to do like that. That's the neat part about being an artist, is that you can make adjustments as you go along. Watch this. See? I'll adjust and make the inside of his ear, just like that. I'll come back over here and make the inside of this ear. Oh, I don't remember if I mentioned that this, I'm using watercolor paper this time, a heavier paper, because we're doing the cool background. So if you've already started, that's okay. About like that. I'm going to get this paw. This paw. There's a little bit of a red pad. We got to remember to put that. A little bit of a red pad there on the bottom of that foot, so I'll very lightly make a space for that. And then I'm going to just continue. Just going along. Oops, came out of the line there a little bit. That's okay. All right. Let's get some of these, whatever the sharp part half electricity, half fur, and remember we can add more later if we want to. Definitely have some up here. I like that. That looks good. How's yours coming along? Let's get the all-important eye. Go really, really gently here. And then, as best I can, I'm going to keep that circle-y. Hey, I got it the first time this time. I'm going to look at that eye just a little closer. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to let that dry for just a moment, and I'm going to come back in and see how 
There's a little bit of a white dot there. I'm going to use this jelly roll pen. I'm going to put one dot right there. One dot right there. All right. That looks pretty good so far. All right, let's get the yellow. I'm going to get two yellows because there's two shades of yellow. I get regular lemon yellow. And then there's one called golden yellow. Let me find that one. Golden yellow. All right, let's start getting some colors here on Jolteon. And remember, it is watercolor, so we can come back with the watercolor brush and make it blend. Oh, I want to do one thing first, though. Let's get some of this pencil out. Have just a little bit of a cleaner drawing when you erase your pencil out first. Sometimes you gotta wait just a little bit to let your ink dry. Otherwise it might smear a little bit, but you can always, as an artist, you got your ways that you've learned how to uh, fix that. All right, let's get back to getting some ink all over Jolteon, get, get his colors popping. So while we're doing this easy part with yellows, let's think about how we're gonna make, I'm gonna put Celebi, oh, I'll just put Celebi right here for a minute. Think a little bit about how we're going to use some cool colors to do a similar style all around jolt. Do we want to keep doing yellows and blues or do we want to do something else? I'll tell you my idea. So when you look at the color wheel, the opposite color of yellow is purple. So I'm going to do a lot of purples and pinks. That's my idea. We'll see how it works out. Okay, we got to remember to leave a layer in here of white, and we'll come back in here and get some gray on there to get that shading. Then most of this is yellow, and then we'll come back on top with some cool shading with the other yellow. And then all this leg is going to be the other darker yellow. All right, I'm going to get that. So that's all I want to do with lemon yellow. Now let's get this golden yellow and get some shading in here. So definitely at the bottom of his paws. And then here starts to get some shading in it from underneath that white mane. The bottom of his body and the back legs are definitely this other one. And then I'm going to do like some strips like this. About like that. There's a little bit in here that you can just go like this. All right, let's get our water pen out, get our colors a little bit blended. So I've got enough water in there, and I'm looking for my... Hold on one second. Again, got to go get my paper towel. All right, I'm back. I've got my paper towel. I went and put a little more water inside this pen, and now I'm ready to blend my... blend some colors on Jolteon. Oh yeah, you gotta put a little bit of pink on the on his paw pad there. I really like how these Chromatec watercolor brushes work on this thicker watercolor paper. So if uh, if you can uh, buy yourself some some good quality paper for your important projects, and then you can use just regular office paper, copy paper, when you're just uh, learning and tooling around. All right, we got to add some detail in Jolteon's face. We'll do that next. All right, I like how that color's already looking. All right, I'm going to get the pink next. And we're going to do a couple, we're going to do the foot pad, and we're going to do its mouth. So I'm going to get bright pink, light pink, light pink. I'm going to do a little 
bit inside the mouth like that. Kind of like the card has it, just a little bit of a curve there. I'm going to leave that. Same with the paw. I'm just going to leave that. All we need is a little bit of color, just like that, and I could be happy. A little more. Make that mouth like that. Oh, we got to come back. I see that we missed some shading, so we'll do that next. And then, what else? We need a little dot of a nose. So let me get my liner. Let me look at that shape really closely. It's a little bit of a circle-y triangle right here. About like that. I think that's it. I'm going to switch back to golden yellow and try to get this shading on his face that starts at the top about his nose and runs down like this comes back up like this and all of that is just a little bit darker oh yeah there we go that's that's a lot better anything else we can do a couple more up here if we want to just a little bit right there make sure that it's not so white right there that looks pretty good. I'm going to come back to this leg. Do a little more there. That looks good. Now I'm going to get shadow markers out. I'm going to start with one of the lightest ones. 89 or 95. 95 is the lightest. I'm going to do I'm going to do 89 for now. And we're, let's get some of the shading in this white part of his mane. So it's definitely underneath here. here and it doesn't have to be perfect and you can be like sharp and leave some points like that and that's that's about all you needed that was easy shading come back in here a little bit and then let's see some of the points has some shading on the white part of the points like this a little bit like that and that and that I'm gonna get one more darker so that was 89. Let's look for 75 or 60. Let's do 75. And I'm just going to do a tiny bit more. Just about like that. And I'm going to come underneath, inside, on top of the yellow, and make a little bit more shading. And then I'm going to go back, I just saw that, I'm going to go back to 89 and see how these white spikes kind of have a little bit of a shadow. I'll come back and try to get a little bit of shadow underneath those like that, like that, just like that. I'll do a little bit of shadow under his neck. Yeah, that's good. I might as well do something like this. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that that's that's popping. That popped out. That that's nice. That's really nice. And if we want to, we can go on the opposite sides. See what happens with jelly pen. Give a little bit of highlights. There we go. Yeah, that turned out pretty nice. I'm gonna stop about there. Yeah, what's up, Jolteon? I'm going to fix that dot in his eye. There, that's better. Maybe that's not better. <laughs> that happens sometimes. I'm going to go back over that. I'm going to let that dry. I don't like how that white dot is. And I'm going to go over with a black Posca in a little bit. But for now, let's look at, let's get the background. So let's, let's take a minute right here. And if you're a beginner and you're happy with how your Jolteon turned out and you want to stop right here, this is a good stopping place because we're going to switch over to the background. The background's easy, but if you need a break, you can push pause or come back tomorrow. Uh, if you're ready to get keep going, let's keep going. So, this remember that David, who is nine, he had this design when he drew Celebi. He did these random blacks, black lines like this, and then he lost his psych, and then I came back and I 
uh, got the watercolors and filled it in and made it really cool color explosion. We have a how to how to paint this one in our other videos. I'll see if I can learn how to link. I don't know link link it right there in the video. We'll see if I, I'm able to do that. But let's start doing that. Let's like get the, our black pen and start making cool explosion like lines. And yeah, I like the idea instead of doing these. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get. I'm going to get this number one, no, number three. I'm going to get number three. And I am looking at this Celebi for ideas. And it looks like we're going to go like this. I'm going to start here. I'm going to start here and make this. Kind of like random squiggly lines. Maybe some straight. Maybe some designs like that. A couple of straight ones like this. You're an artist. You can just do it like you want to. So where there was squig sharper here, now I'm going to do a little bit rounder. Maybe like that. Maybe touch a couple like that. And now, just keep going like random. And go back inside like this if you want to. And make a couple little small ones like that. Bit, 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 bit. And then back to big. And then a little bit rounder. I think that's already looking super cool. I'm going to make one a little bit like that. One like that. One like that. I'm gonna go all the way around like this now, and then I'm gonna stop. Boop, right here. Cool. Oh man, I can't wait to paint that. All right, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna definitely grab purple, violet. I'm gonna definitely grab light pink again. Let's see, and this one is gonna be bright pink. And I know I have Rose Carmine. Let's start with those. Let's start with Rose Carmine. I'm going to do some Rose Carmine like in this section. Like this. And if you need to get a little inspiration from that, we'll be sure to put some blue in there and some yellow too. How about some Rose Carmine here and here? How about this one be Rose Carmine? Some here. A little bit close like that, like that, all the way around, like that. Let's see what that looks like. All right, now I'm going to go right to vi this violet. And how about violet in the front, like this? Ah, violet's coming out of my mouth. Like this, and fill that one in and that one in. Go to that line. This, how about this one be violet? Like that, a little more here, maybe close to the feet. Like this. All right, now I'm going to switch to bright pink. Bright pink. And I'm just going to fill in some more spots. How about this one be bright pink all the way over here? Like this. Maybe I'll, oh, I don't want too much bright pink, like right by his mouth or his foot so it doesn't like blend like really easily. How about this one to be bright pink too? Some more of these. A little bit like this. And now I'm gonna get the light pink and then we'll blend the pinks. A little bit of his head like that. This how about this one be bright pink or light pink. And like that. All right, let's blend, 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 and see how cool that looks. Start here at the mouth. Let the water to start working. And if you don't want the colors to blend so much, you kind of want to be careful around the body, just so we can have a really good contrast. And then out here, you can be a little bit more dangerous like 
like this. Blend that one in really well. And you can leave spaces because we can come back and fill in with other colors like blues or yellows or other colors. Greens. We might try some greens and see what those look like. I'm going to slow down as I get around his ears. And it is okay if some colors get in. Get in there. You are an artist. You're allowed to just let your colors do what they want. And sometimes in watercolors, watercolors just do what they want. They just move around, they touch, and they make a new color. And you come out of the lines, bloop, just like that. Stay in the lines. Just have fun. Yeah, I've got an idea for maybe some blues right in that area. Yeah. Hope yours is coming along nicely. This is fun. I like this. I like this watercolors. These chromatic watercolors just do cool, cool things. And they're perfect for a beginner. So I'm a beginner. I don't know if I've told you on any of my videos that I'm, I'm a beginner. So I've always bought art supplies for my children. And David and Jake getting so good at art. And I I'd like art. And when I was a kid, I did art. And then they started doing art more and more. And I started doing art with them. I'm like, I kind of want to get good at art. So I started practicing every day. This is only about a year ago, less than a year ago. And slowly, by doing a little bit every day, get better and better, which is what you can do. Just every day practice, and every day just get one degree better. That's all it takes. All right, I like how that blended. I'm going to wipe off my brush and my paper towel, and now I'm going to find some blues, some dark blues. There's an Egyptian blue, and what's this one? That one's dark cyan. Let's do these two. So I want to get some blues like right here. That's good. And then skip a section here and come out here. And this little spike is going to be all blue like that. And maybe some blue here. Blue here. Yeah, that's going to blend nicely. That's going to look so neat. All right, now I'm going to switch to this dark cyan. Well, let's come, I'm going to come out here because I'm not, not sure how it's grayish. Okay. So I don't want too much gray. But maybe in some places by the pink, so we have that strong contrast. I don't want to fill out a whole section. But what if we did like on the side of each spike to give it like shading. Let's see what happens. I'll just do a little bit. And then some random right here. All right, that's enough. That's too dark. I'm going to switch it to some lighter blues. Heron blue and sky, my favorite sky blue. Let's get some sky blue over here. And here. And here so those two blues can mix up. Oh, that's looking so cool. Some here. Here. Yeah, this is cool. I think I'm going to add some greens. Save that space for greens, and maybe that space for greens. All right, that's good with that one. Man, let's come out here with this is now the herring blue, which is a nice light blue. We came out of the lines here a lot. That's okay. We'll let that. We'll push that blue out of that spike and see what happens. Okay, now I'm finding some greens. Let's look what greens we've got. I pulled out an emerald green and a bottle green. Huh? What's bottle green look like? Ooh, yeah, that's nice. 
Let's let that one come all the way out here like this. Green there, green here, a little bit of green here, dark green there. That's probably all the dark green that I want. Let's switch up to this emerald green. How's that look right next to it? Oh, yeah, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to blend this now, and then I might fill in with reds, yellows, and oranges, and see what that looks like. So when you get to this point, sometimes you gotta, you got to think really hard about if you want to blend the blues into the reds, because it's going to make a darker purple. If that's what you want, do that. Also, you can choose to just kind of keep the colors separated, by not having them cross over too much. Or you can just wipe off your brush and then do the one color and get it real close like that and then wipe off your brush. And then that way there's less color blending. But these two blues, I want to see how they go. And then with the green, see how that goes. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. Let's see how all of these go together. So again, I'm not blending into the reds that much. I'm just letting the blues and the greens go together. Oh yeah, look at those colors, how that made, made a cool design. Man, I hope yours are making cool designs. I'm going to try to stay in the lines here. Ooh yeah, look at how that green gets taken, and then that darker cyan. Oh yeah, that's cool. Now, my brush is getting a little dry, so I'm going to put a little pressure, and there might be a dot of water that comes out, but Hopefully it doesn't, because I kind of want to not have it too wet. Okay, I saw the bubbles go up, so that means it went down. Okay. About like this. About like that. Okay, I'm going to wipe my brush here, and I'm going to get these, those to blend, like those reds, pinks to blend like this. Wipe my brush again. Back really gently by Jolteon's face. I'll follow this path of the greens up and blend all those like that. Ooh, yeah, so pretty. If you want to have a extra spikes come out, that's fine too. Just like that. Let's try to push these colors way out, like I said. Push some of this green out and get those colors to blend. Oh yeah. Back in here. All right, I'm going to wipe my brush off. Let's get these to blend a little bit more, but stay in this lighter area. But try to get all the white out. Just to see if we have a little bit crisper picture. Like that. I'm going to go over to this section while I just have mostly pinks. A little bit there. Let's try to get around his mouth just a little bit easier. Yeah, that turned out all right. Yeah. Not too bad. Whoop. Whoop. Almost lost control of the brush there. Come back here. Yeah, that's good. You can still tell. Now, if you happen to get too much in, the, in, in your background color blended into his mouth, you can come with a little bit of red and just touch inside the mouth, which maybe, we'll, if I remember, I'll do that and see what it looks like. All right, let's keep blending here, since we're on the pinks and reds. I don't know if we're going to have any room for, for yellows, and that's okay because Jolteon is all yellow. I'm going to let an extra spike come out like this. Blend some of that purple into the green. 
Yeah, that's cool. Got a little bit of a spike come out like this. These blues. And then I'm back to very careful. Yellow and blue makes green, so I don't want to get too much too close to his body. So I'm going to go slow down just a little bit. Try to get white space in there. Yeah, got it. We got a little section here. Really slowly go around his feet. Let those colors blend. Wow, look at that. That almost looks done. See, we ended up not using the lines of the code card, which is fine. I'm going to try to blend this together so it makes one single spike. Look at that. See what I did there? I let some of that darkish get on the edge of that. Kind of like how that looks. It does look like it's shading. It gives it like a little bit of like volume. Yep. I like how that turned out. Now I'm just looking, I'm hunting for spots that too white. I'm going to blend a little bit more. I don't know what happened over here. I think we, our brush got a little out of control. That's okay. Look at that. How'd yours turn out? I think we're almost done here. All right, the one thing that I said that I wanted to go back and try to fix that eye. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my black Posca, oh, which is way over there. I'm gonna see if I can fix it with this pen. I think that's better. I need to look, I need to bring it up and look closer. Yeah, that's okay. And sometimes you just have to like get a little closer. There's a few minor places that we could have gotten a little bit a little bit better, but I think that's it. I think we did it. I hope you did it. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for drawing with me again. Thanks for being a part of the rabid Pikachu's. And as always, you're going to want to subscribe so that you can know when we're going to have our next lesson, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Thank you for being a part of the Rabbit Pikachus. Thanks for watching. See you next time.